Why don't we go ahead and move over to the Cyhawk? If we're going to talk about weird things happening, we might as well bring this one up. Uh, I did call this one on the Bet US College Football Show, which went five and two last week. Not too shabby, five and two against the spread. So good, good things over there for sure. Uh, let's go on and, and swap it over to the stats on this one, and we'll just go piece by piece. Yards per play, 4 to 2.9. 313 total yards to two, uh, excuse me, to 150. Both teams had three turnovers. Iowa State did have two punts blocked as well. Uh, third down tries, Iowa State had 20 and hit 50% of them. Uh, Iowa had 11 and hit 27% of them. Three scoring opportunities that led to 2.33 points per scoring opportunity for Iowa State. For Iowa, two scoring opportunities, zero points. Neither team had a defensive or special teams touchdown. Now, granted, they did have some that led to that, but regardless. And Iowa's field position, again, their own 30-yard line. It is unbelievable what this offense is capable of not doing. They are so incredibly bad. I just I can't even begin to explain how putrid this Iowa offense really is. And I talked about it all week. But for whatever reason, uh, Iowa did send me a nice notebook, which I mentioned at the beginning of the show, but i got to mention it again, uh, I guess, because I talked about how awful uh, their offense really is, and it is something else. I mean, it is it is so bad. Uh, Spencer Petras, 12 out of 26, 92 yards, and one interception. Uh, Hunter Deckers, on the other hand, 25 out of 38. They threw the ball 38 times for 184 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Brock, the running back for Iowa State, had 100 yards on 27 carries. I, this was a workmanship game. And I, I had a feeling that this year would be the year. Uh, Xavier Hutchinson, I mean, they got him the ball 11 catches for 98 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Iowa, their receivers, I explained to everybody how they don't have receivers. Well, yeah, the guy that caught the most passes, the only one that caught more than two was the tight end, Laporta. Uh, 55 yards on eight catches. I mean, it's just unbelievable how bad this offense really is. And props to Iowa State for finally getting this thing done, right? It's been years. Like, Matt Campbell had never beaten Iowa State. Uh, excuse me, had never beaten Iowa. And now, I mean, they get this thing done. They, I'm, I was very happy to see them get that done in the rain, no less. But at the end of it, of course, there were all these crazy shenanigans. They were calling it crazy penalties here and there. Uh especially late, that gave Iowa a chance to tie the ball game and send it to overtime with a field goal, and they missed the field goal, which to me says ball don't lie. But regardless, uh, when you look at, at just everything in this Iowa State, and it's the same thing every year, right? I, I said before this game, under Matt Campbell, Iowa State had turned the ball over against Iowa nine times. It led to 33 points for Iowa. Iowa had never turned the football over. And today, you finally got the turnovers. Like, you finally got them. Props to them. Props to them for getting it done. Um, Iowa's offense is so bad. <laughs> they are so bad. Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, but regardless, uh, we'll, we'll hop off of this uh, because... I mean, I just, it, there's not much more to say, right? There's not a whole lot of what you what you can do with this. Uh, Iowa couldn't run the ball. They couldn't throw the ball. They didn't beat themselves with penalties. But, whew, I mean, it was, it was something to behold. Every time they go out and play, it's something to behold uh, because of how bad that offense really is. Iowa fans, I wish better for you. And that offense, they are wasting Phil Parker. Uh, he is so good on the defensive side of the ball, and that special teams is something else. I mean, they are just lights out. Uh, elite at multiple levels. Actually, two out of the three levels. But offense is so important these days, it's just difficult. Just difficult to, uh, to make something like that work. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. 
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.